Today I'm going to show you how to install Heidi SQL and use it with MySQL. Heidi SQL is a uh, graphical user interface for MySQL and other databases too. Uh, so you can use it with multiple different databases including MariaDB which is a, another open source fork of MySQL. Uh, since MySQL uh, is not going to be uh, supported by MySQL uh, Workbench in the future now, now, so they're not updating that program anymore. This is a good alternative to that if you want a graphical user interface and a simple one that's easy to use. So you're going to go to uh, HeidiSQL.com and click on downloads here and you're going to download the um, install program. And uh, I already have downloaded it here so we're going to run it. You're going to install it for all users in this case. Accept the license agreement. You want to uh, select what drive and directory uh, you put it on but I'm going to use the default. Pretty much I'm going to use default on all of this and uh, we're going to go ahead and launch it now. All right, so it opens up this window right here, and we're going to go down here to new to create a uh, uh, a uh, new connection uh, profile. So as you can see here, we have over here different types of uh, SQL databases this will work with, and which is one of the advantages to this. If you're working with multiple different types of SQL servers, you can use the same interface uh, to do uh, a lot of the tasks you would do on them. Uh, so it's a good interface uh, to set up. So by default, it has... Uh, MariaDB or MySQL, which is what we're going to use here. Uh, we're going to set it up for to, to run locally on the machine. This is the IP address you would use if you're connecting to a machine uh, remotely. You would change that. Uh, we're just going to use the root user on this uh, to connect into, or you could set this to a DB admin uh, account or whatever account you want to set it to. And um, by default, it uses the default port 3306 which is the default for MySQL. If you have it set on a different port, you would want to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the password in. And I'm going to click Open. And here it opened our uh, MySQL database here. Over on the left side are our different um, databases and the tables. Uh, I have uh, I set up the uh, Sequila and the world uh, examples from MySQL. So if we w went into here, we can actually see the information here and that we can look at the tables and so the nice thing here is uh it gives us information about the data structure and all this it's really self-explanatory a lot of it if you just mess around with it for a bit but if we want to see what data is in the table we can go here and actually see all the data that's in the table here and uh so now we have a pretty simple intuitive uh, interface that we can use with MySQL and other uh, SQL databases, and it's called Heidi SQL. In the future, I'll probably put out some more videos on, uh, or at least another video on how to use Heidi SQL in a little bit more detail. But I wanted to, to create this one just to show you how to set it up and how to connect to MySQL. 